the football in the street, but when you guys be playing in the NFL, because you guys don't have the background. So when we say stay in school, it's because this background is going to get you guys to where you need to be. I just want to say that real quick. Okay, and then I to say something, I want to say, you know, school, you know, some, some of us, right, think like, okay, stay in school, I, I need school. At the, bottom, at the bottom line is, school needs you. We are first, second, third generation American, right? I, I'm an immigrant, right? But school needs you. School needs some of our kids up in there being intelligent, being leaders, demanding education. So when we say stay in school, we're not like, oh, just go to class, you know, do minimum work. No, we mean like, school needs you. We need some more history up in American schools. How many people in the East Coast know what someone is? know what Atonian is, know what Micronesia is. How many Americans, white Americans, know the capital of Samoa? How many? So you stay in school, school needs you. Teachers need you to teach them. They need you to do school them. So don't take it out of like, oh man, I can't do this. Yes, you can. You can go there. The first thing you can say is your name. You can, you can tell them where you come from. Super young parents. When we first had our kids, it was, it was a struggle, you know what I'm saying? But we were still blessed though, but at the same time, try to get your education first, do it in a proper, you know what I'm saying, in order, so that when you do have your family, you'll be able to support them. You know, you gotta go to school. And you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, even if you do don't give up in school either. There's a lot of uh, young, you know, ladies that have children or whatnot, and they kind of just don't want to drop out of school. They still got programs you can, they got them little uh, babysitter things on the side where you still go to school, you know what I'm saying? And just, uh, that's it. But hey, listen to your parents. Listen to your parents and uh, go to church and say no to drugs, because they can't have a right here. But we love y'all, we love y'all. Okay, look, uh, a sister asked a question earlier about undocumented young Pacific Islanders who may be interested in going to college. The Office of Admissions and Records here at CU7 is actually who sponsored this event. And Fee can actually answer that question uh, to the T. So Fee, can you please quickly give us some questions? Hi, everybody. Um, so for, for, for College of San Mateo, you can come to the College of San Mateo. We accept every single person at College of San Mateo. If you are undocumented, I can still hook you up. Come to San Mateo. All I need you to do is come to College of San Mateo. All I need you guys to do is stay school, come to CSN, and I'll make sure what you want to do will get done here at CSN. Don't go to city, go to CSN. Well, did you guys do in high school? This is personal, but 
Uh, and also, uh, how did you guys get to where you guys are? Or like, what are your intentions? And especially the musicians. How far are you guys willing to go? So the question is to the music artist, how far are you willing to go to keep this dream alive that you have to pursue music? Is that, did I capture that correctly? Yes. So, to my, Drew, why don't you answer that one? Drew, Chuck, King, one and a half minutes, go. <laughs> well, I, um, there should be no, nothing stopping you from reaching your dream. I mean, if that's what you really want to do. But what it's going to take is passion. I mean, if you're just doing it on strength because you started it and, you know, you don't want to be looking like you started and now you stopped and shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, that, but what my point is, you know what I mean, stick with it. You know what I mean? And if, if, if that's what you really want to do, the passion is to be that, you know, keep going. So don't, don't. Okay. Anybody else want to have? Yeah, I just wanted to say I'm ready to. Like, but make sure that you do it for you, because I, one of my daughters went to college too, and she's like, Dad, oh, everybody told me we want to get the, the BEPA, the paper for the different colleges. I said, if the BEPA don't do it, don't do nothing for you, you know what I'm saying? Go do what you want to do, because it's when we're gone, and you're here, it's, all, it's about what you want to do in life, you know what I'm saying? But the parent, your parents are going to guide you when you know what I mean, get you in that diversity, but at the end of the day, it's, it's all about you. It's what you choose to like, you know what I'm saying? So, man, we love you. Um, I'm gonna keep it real. I didn't graduate high school. I'm gonna keep it real. But, you know what I do now, y'all you know I mean, makes up for everything that I've ever did in the past. And, you know, to answer your question, where I'm willing to go with it, you know, I'm right here, man. I'm willing to give my life for this, man. And anybody that knows me, where I'm from, and what I come from, they know the truth. I mean, I want to get my life in this. I love all of you, for real. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to just start the only thing is we can come back. I really, you know, being the only woman on the panel, I think it's very important for me to say that in high school, I had a 3.8 in high school. I got a half, I got a half scholarship to go to New York University. That is where I graduated, and then I got the full fellowship to go to Yale University summer. Yeah. After that, I went to Columbia University. I'm not saying this to brag, everybody. I'm not. Because anyone can do this. Really, anyone can do this. It took a lot of hard work, and yes, I'm a nerd. I really am proud to be a nerd. We gotta not have our hair and our lip gloss, right? Right? And that becomes more important than our grade. Impressing a guy becomes more important than getting an A plus on my math test. Really, for real, right? I can be real with you, right? So what it takes, it really takes, if someone makes fun of you, take it. A lot of people make fun of me. Yeah, all the jokes, right? We like to bust on each other. But you know what, what it takes, it really takes you to be a leader. It really takes you to say, no, I'm not gonna go, go there, I'm gonna do my homework. Yes, I am, I am Pacific Islander, I ain't belonging.
I'm gonna keep it real with you. I, I, I didn't go to college for the radio. So, I'm gonna keep it real with you. So, I, I went to college to play football. I'm gonna be real with you. I went to football, it didn't work out. I had my son, and I, and I was sitting to see what was my niche. I was always behind the mic, and I seen, I had a lot of friends in the radio business. So, I, I just seen, you know, Chewy Gomez. I seen Big Boss doing their thing. I was trying to wait for my opportunity, but you needed the school. You needed those classes. But I said, you know what? I'm gonna take it upon myself and say, you know, I'm gonna start my own station. I'm going to go in and think outside the box. And say, I'm going to start my all my radio stations. You know what you're telling me nothing. I don't got a program to radio to bring it down my neck. Everything is me. Big Body Radio is all me 100% and my team that does it. So if you want to do something like that, me, my, my personal life is stay in school, take those classes. Because it's going to be easier for you. So I'm not saying don't go to school, go do be a rebel. Go take the classes because you know now what you didn't know before. Because if I knew now, back then, if I, if I was in the crowd, I was like, oh, I gotta take these classes, I would've took them. So just to tell you, to be real with you, take the radio classes, take the television classes now, so when your path goes, it's gonna be that much easier. And Big Body Radio's every Friday. <laughs> Was her dream. So can we please give her another big round? 